Hey guys, it's Sandro here. In today's video is a head-to-head -head comparison looking at four popular waterless wash cleaners including CarPro Echo 2, Optimum OptiClean, Shine Supply Echo Shine and Poor Boys Spray and Wipe. And just in case there's some of you that are new to waterless washing, these products basically replace your car wash buckets, mitts, car soap and running water by simply spraying them onto a car panel and then using microfiber cloths, you firstly gather the existing dirt and then buff the finish streak free. And if you're interested in learning how to safely waterless wash a vehicle, I recently did a video on how to waterless wash a motorcycle, which I'll add to the end screen of this video and explains this process in detail and works exactly the same on cars. So in this video, I'm going to focus on testing rather than explaining how to correctly waterless wash and I'll be conducting a few tests that will be directly comparing these products and assessing them in a few areas such as their user experience, effectiveness, value, gloss levels and their slickness as waterless wash, automotive paint and trim cleaners. And I know there's plenty of other great waterless wash products out there, but these are the four that I'm most familiar with, so I'm also going to add my past experience with them to make this a more well-rounded review. Firstly, I apologise for this way overexposed footage that you're seeing, but it will return to normal in just a few minutes. My GoPro camera just does some weird stuff sometimes. But this first test will be focusing on the user experience as well as cleaning results and I purposely didn't wash this daily driver for two weeks and I pulled it outside into the hot sun because I wanted to test these products in more extreme conditions and show you guys how each of them perform. Now, I really don't recommend you use them on hot panels or in direct sunlight, or even on an extremely dirty car. But I also know from once living in an apartment and working as a mobile detailer for quite a number of years, that not all of us can always avoid it. But apart from that, these more extreme conditions can in fact further help highlight differences between all these products. So I've split the bonnet and the glass roof of this car into four sections, and I'm going to waterless wash each of those sections in the hot sun with each of these four cleaners. And once I'm done, we'll have a quick look at the panels. But as it was so blindingly bright outside, I also pulled the car back inside and we'll have a closer and better look at each of these panels inside while I discuss the results. But as I'm applying them and cleaning each section, I'll discuss their user experience. The truth is that all four products do have great lubrication in most normal conditions and circumstances. But in these more extreme conditions, it does become more so clear that some do perform a little better than others. Both Echo 2 and Echo Shine definitely have more forgiving user experiences as they don't seem to streak anywhere near as much in the hot sun and they also seem to have a little extra lubrication and slip in their feel while also giving you a little bit more time before they start evaporating and drying on the paint. And visually, you can actually see that Echo 2 in particular seems to almost haze over, a bit like a wax, which I believe is the reason why it doesn't streak as much, but rather flashes and then you can quite easily buff it off with no issues. Whereas OptiClean clearly struggles with the heat and has a tendency to instantly streak and cure on contact, with no signs of haze in its finish. Spray and wipe is really more of a middle ground for me, where it's not quite as easy and seamless to use as Echo 2 or Echo Shine, but not quite as bad as OptiClean, with just minimal or more subtle streaks in direct sunlight applications. Now as I've mentioned, we'll have a closer look at the results on this car, both on the bonnet and the roof, once the car's inside. But I can tell you guys that I've been running these same tests multiple times on quite a few different panels, and the results have been surprisingly consistent with Echo 2 and Eco Shine always displaying the cleanest and clearest finishes, with Spray and Wipe usually just having some very minor streaks, and OptiClean just struggling and streaking consistently when applied to hot panels.
Now with the car inside, we'll start by having a look at the bonnet. And I'll also mention that this car is a daily driver that's parked outside 24-7, and it's been almost 3 years since I last detailed it. So there are some existing water spots and oxidation on the paint that I don't want you to mistake for streaks or spots in the waterless wash finish. So I can see just one or two little patches in the section with spray and wipe where it just didn't level down perfectly. But apart from that, the vast majority of this section is quite good, clean and clear. On this particular panel, I'd actually say that the section with EcoShine did come up the best, with really no signs of any streaks at all, as well as removing all the dirt with a nice, clean finish. The section with OptiClean is really the black sheep here, with multiple streak marks throughout. But as far as cleaning goes, it still managed to remove all the existing dirt. The section with Echo 2 is just about perfect, with perhaps just the slightest hint of a tiny streak, but pretty much on par with Echo Shine. And as we have a look at the glass roof, you'll hopefully see that the results just couldn't be more identical with Echo 2 and Eco Shine having near perfect clean and clear finishes, Spray and Wipe just having one streak that didn't level down perfectly, and OptiClean having some real difficulties with quite a bit of streaking throughout its section. Now as I mentioned, if you can avoid it, I really don't recommend you use any waterless wash products on hot panels or in direct sunlight. But if your options are limited, I think it's useful to know how each of these products do differ in that situation. So in this next test, I've allowed the car to cool down and I'm going to be applying each of them to a car door. Now, I'll be honest in saying that the differences with each of these products when used on cool paint and out of direct sunlight is far less in relation to their user experience and clean and clear finishes. However, the differences are still there and they are still the same, just a lot more subtle and harder to spot. The truth is that in ideal conditions, there's no reason why you can't use any of these waterless wash products with great success. And as long as your technique is on point, they should all safely clean the paint and leave a nice finish. But in saying that, there still are differences. OptiClean is actually the quickest one to work with, as it seems to be absorbed faster by your cloth and finishes down cleanly just a little quicker. While Spray and Wipe just needs that extra final wipe or so to get there. With Echo Shine needing a little more, and Echo 2 definitely needs a few more seconds and wipes than all the others to achieve that perfect streak free finish. However, if you do miss or leave a streak in the finish with Echo 2 and also with Echo Shine, it's just super easy to come back and buff it clean, while Spray and Wipe is just a little touch less forgiving, and OptiClean is even less forgiving again.
In this next test, I'm going to be applying all four waterless wash products side by side on a flat black painted panel that's a little swirled and hazed to evaluate their ability to amplify the paint in relation to gloss and saturation levels. So in essence, I'm looking at which one looks better. Now for the most part, I'd like you guys to judge the results for yourselves. But from my end, there was some really obvious differences. I'd have to say that Echo 2 definitely had the most dramatic impact on darkening the paint and boosting the gloss. But Echo Shine was really up there and very, very close. Spray and Wipe was also definitely able to amplify the paint to a nice level with increased gloss, while OptiClean still managed to improve the finish of the paint but just not quite to the level of the others. The next test was looking at their ability to reduce friction and also add slickness to the finish of automotive paint. I'll start by saying that compared to the feel of the bare paint, all the products do in fact create a nice slick feel. But as with all the other tests so far, there are some definite differences. As we have a look at my old ceramic coating bottle gliding along the panel, You'll hopefully be able to see that Echo 2 did quite well here in displaying the least amount of friction and increased slickness over all the other products, while Echo Shine was yet again just a small step behind in this test. And Spray and Wipe in third place, and although OptiClean was quite noticeably in fourth place, it was by no means a tacky or sticky finish, it just wasn't quite as slick or silky to the touch as the others. The last test in this video review is having a look at their water or hydrophobic behaviour. Now in truth, I'm really not all that concerned about how durable or how great the water behaviour of a waterless wash product is. But what I am concerned about is that all these products do in fact have certain polymers that will bond over your paint's existing paint protection. And they will influence the way your wax, sealant or coating performs, at least until they wear off. So although I'm not using these products as a form of paint protection, I still don't want them to kill the hydrophobic behaviour of whatever I apply over them, but rather maintain it or even boost it. Now once again, I'll ask you guys to judge the results for yourselves, but based on what I was seeing, it just couldn't be more consistent with all the other tests and results so far. With Echo 2 displaying some rather nice water bead contact angles and rather quick water shedding rates. While well, EcoShine was just half a step behind with almost equally great behaviour, Spray and Wipe was a solid third place in relation to hydrophobic behaviour, and although I wouldn't say that OptiClean was all that bad, it once again just wasn't quite to the same level as the others. The last area I want to briefly touch on is cost and value. 
Now since all these products will vary on price, depending on what part of the world you live in, I think the real cost value comes in the dilutable concentrations. Both Echo 2 and Echo Shine are by far the most concentrated and cost effective solutions with a general 1 to 15 dilution ratio, meaning that 1 litre of them makes up 16 litres of usable solution. While OptiClean has a 1 to 3 ratio, making up 4 litres for every concentrated litre of solution. And Spray and Wipe is actually the only one here that comes in a ready to use dilution which does make it rather expensive and by far the least cost effective one here. I'll just wrap up this video with my own thoughts and opinions about these waterless washers. Since I first tried CarPro Echo 2 about 3 years ago, I was immediately impressed and sold on all aspects of its fantastic value, hugely dilutable formula, amazing sun friendly application, gloss levels and slick finish. There was just nothing that I'd tried at the time that came close. And it was actually quite different and not just a copy of O&R like almost all the other waterless washers at the time, but rather CarPro's own unique take and formula. And 3 years on, I have to say that it's still just as good, if not better, than any other waterless wash I've tried to date. It's important to note that Optimum really created and defined itself in this space with O&R, and honestly deserves a lot of credit for being the pioneers of rinseless and waterless wash products. And I'll also add that OptiClean was my go-to waterless wash for a good 5 years. But in saying that, a lot's happened in this space over the last decade. And although OptiClean is still a good product, I just don't feel that today it's quite on par with its competitors and maybe it's time for an update to bring it more in line with many of the newer waterless washers that have entered the market since its release. Shine Supply Eco Shine is the more recent waterless wash that I've tried. But I've been testing it alongside quite a few of the brand's other products quite a lot in the last few months. Now, from a cost, application, performance and finish stance, I have to be honest in saying that I've struggled to see anything more than just very minor differences when comparing it to CarPro Echo 2. And I'm not saying at all that they're the same product, because there are subtle but definite differences. But what I am saying is that they are both similarly priced, have identical dilution ratios and they both achieve fantastic results with great user experiences. So although Echo 2 did ever so slightly just seem to nose ahead in many of these tests, it was honestly so so close all the way. I first tried Poor Boy's Spray and Wipe quite a number of years ago, and I really liked it back then and I still like it now. The only thing that stopped me from using it back then especially in my business, was the fact that it didn't come as a concentrate. And when I did the numbers, it just would have ended up costing me about three times as much as what I was paying for OptiClean, so it just wasn't a financially viable option. But in saying that, maybe it's more about its fantastic smell, together with its quick, slick and easy application that just makes me like using it more than any of the others. And since I first tried it a number of years ago, I've always had a bottle of it at home. And although on paper it's not the best value, or perhaps the best performer, it's still the one I enjoy using most. In the end guys, it's not like any one of these products can't do the job, along with about another dozen or so waterless washers out on the market. So my advice is use what you like, and use what works best for you and what you enjoy the most. My goal with these videos is to gather and share information, so that when you do make a choice, it's a well informed one. And I really hope that all the time and effort that goes into these videos helps some of you out. As always, please like, comment and subscribe to this channel to show you support for these videos and I'll see you guys soon. So full of aggression, not paying attention, you got me losing